Where do I even start? I remember being forgotten about a lot. I was in a very abusive home. It was someone I was supposed to be able to trust. Someone who was supposed to protect me. Not only was it physically and mentally and emotionally abusive, but later on it became sexually abusive as well. There was never a time where I felt safe at home. When I went to tell my mom, it was the final straw, and so we finally left. I stopped going to church when I was about 17 years old. There was this inner battle that just never really ended. I just started doing things that I thought would make me happy, being with people who I thought accepted me. And it was very quickly that I realized that that wasn't what I wanted. That wasn't what made me happy and made me feel fulfilled. The summer before college, I, I started meeting with the missionaries again and started going back to church and started really getting a love for the gospel again. I got my life back together. God healed my life from the outside. But when I finished college, it was about time he healed me from the inside. And I was still that little girl who thought no one loved her. I just, I suffered a lot and all of my trauma started coming back. These things that I like, I thought that I had healed from, but really I was just shoving them under a rug just to push them aside and think like that part of my life is over. I never have to think about it again. It's gone, it's done. It's not my life now. I ended up moving and I stayed with a family that I had known for a long time from New York. One day, I remember the pain being so bad. I remember thinking if I just drove off the road, it would all be over and everyone would forget about me and it wouldn't hurt anymore. But I knew that wasn't the answer. It just wasn't the answer. I came home and I told them what I was feeling and thinking. And then they said, Aaron, I'm so glad you told us. You have depression, Aaron, and you need help. So we went to an emergency clinic and they gave me a medication. I think the medication just kind of got me back to feeling. Um, it, just, it just helped me kind of get out of bed. But for me, because most of my suffering was due to all of the emotional trauma that I had been through when I was younger, I really needed a therapist someone who is specifically skilled in childhood trauma and in emotional healing from betrayal and all of those things. I went to a therapist and it was the most wonderful thing. And he helped me realize that I hadn't healed from the inside out. For me, I was going back to all of these beliefs that were taught to me about myself when I was younger. And it was affecting how I interacted with other people, how I saw the world around me. I told God how I felt. I told him I was angry. I told him I thought this wasn't fair. And I got vulnerable with him, with my therapist, with my friends. And then all of a sudden, God changed me through this. He changed the way I saw myself. He changed the way I saw my life. And he changed the way I saw my weaknesses and my struggles. God's grace is the strength that he gives me to work through my challenges, the courage he gives me to get the help I need, to find the resources that I need. Without God's help, my life would not be nearly as beautiful, as hopeful, and as wonderful as it is now.